Well, good morning. Uh, another beautiful day in the middle of uh, middle of winter in Queensland. Look at that. Unbelievable weather. It's nearly uh, only two weeks left of the, to the start of spring. We haven't even had a winter. Anyway, enough of the beautiful weather down here. We all know what it's like. What I decided to do uh, yesterday was make a silicon mould. Um, so when I mix up my resin mixtures, I've got something a bit more smarter to uh, to use. So uh, as a result, um, and then I uh, mixed up a bit of stuff last night and uh, this is what it's coming out with like this morning so you're getting a first look at this there's the mould there I just place a little paddle pop to start I've glued a paddle pop stick on top there you go. okay there's the mould there I glued a little paddle pop stick on top to make sure that the piece of burl that I placed inside, which was a uh, type of pine cone, but not not a pine cone, a um, banksia pod. Uh, there's what they look like uh, in their in their raw form. Picked them up up at the, the markets up in Yamundi a few weeks ago, and so I decided to place some resin inside it and a little burl mixture in there because I want to get two things out of here. I want to get another pendant out of the top for my darling and uh, maybe a nice little box uh, for some rings or whatever uh, from the bottom half. <coughs> so there it is. Um, haven't taken it out yet, straight out of the pressure pot. It was mixing up overnight. So I'm going to take it out now and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, there's the mould there. I glued a little paddle pop stick on top to make sure that the piece of burl that I placed inside, which was a uh, Type of pine cone, but not not a pine cone, a um, banksia pod. Uh, there's what they look like uh, in their in their raw form. Picked them up up at the, the markets up in Yamundi a few weeks ago, and so I decided to place some resin inside it and a little burl mixture in there because I want to get two things out of here. I want to get another pendant out of the top for my darling, and uh, maybe a nice little box. Uh, for some rings or whatever uh, from the bottom half. <coughs> so there it is. Um, haven't taken it out yet, straight out of the pressure pot. It was mixing up overnight. So I'm going to take it out now and uh, we'll take it from there. <coughs> okay, there it is. Came out pretty easy. Um, so we'll see what that turns up like, but it's uh, looks like it came out alright. A little flaw in the mould there, you can see there's a little lump there. You can see the side on, <coughs> which might give me a bit of heartache when I start to put it into the uh, into the chuck. But this is what the mould looks like. And you can see what the problem is just down there with that little section there. And I didn't realise that. I might have to make another one. But this is uh, one of the moulds I made up. Silicon was made up yesterday. Really good stuff. Um, got it from a company in Brisbane here. Um, a little bit left over, so I'm going to make some pen blank moulds, but uh, it comes out really easy. In fact, I might even get some spray, like I see Heath Knuckles use, and spray the inside, makes it come out a bit easier. But yeah, that worked a treat. So that's certainly reusable, so anything round and don't want to work. Uh, in particular, I'm going to see how this one comes out. Um, works pretty nicely. So, yeah, happy with that. Okay, so you can see you got to mount it up on the chuck. Had a little bit of an issue with that lump that was left over from the mould. Um, nothing more than a bit of sandpaper on the uh, on the um, on the chuck on the disc. <coughs> Couldn't fix so a nicely sharpened um, round nose scraper now. And uh, we're going to see what this is going to look like. So the idea is to try and make a, uh, a pendant out of the top section, uh, just in here, and then the bottom section make a nice little ring bowl or something. Anyway, on with it. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, so do I, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, 
not great to work with, but what a mess. I'm not half the girl I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Why? That's the outside piece of the original um, Banksia pot there, um, filled with resin, as you can see. Uh, there, which that's going to come out real nice, and that's a piece of, um, I think that's a piece of blue gum burl in the middle there. So this is going to look pretty cool. Let's see if we can make it look like with a bit of sandpaper. Queensland, this one, long tile, so it was uh, originally developed by Martin Seaver Smith, so see how it works, but I'm pretty sure anything else like Martin comes up with is going to be very, very good. I need a little bit of this because it Clean up the back and add the little jewelry bits to it and show you what I think is going to be a pretty cool finished pendant. I'm really looking forward to digging out the inside of this one and making a little box out of this because I think these banks here pods, look at them, they look at the colour and the finish of them, fabulous. Yeah, back to you shortly. Well, there you go. Doesn't do much for me, does it? Anyway, here's a closer look. It's um, very happy with the way that turned out. I say the outside is Banksia pod, the middle bit in the middle, uh, sorry, the section in the middle there, or a little bit off centre, is a bit of uh, red gum burl, and obviously a mixture of some resin, a um, couple of different colours there, uh, which does a nice little job of sort of getting into the holes in the Banksia pod. Remember the Banksia pod. Uh, looks like that. I think it's a Banksy pot. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so the resin does a great job of filling the holes up and then a uh, good finish. So again, this is for my darling. Um, I hope she enjoys that. And she's been doing a great job the last few weeks and she really deserves something special. So uh, there you go, Beck. This is for you. And, uh, and I'm going, looking really looking forward to turning the rest of that, what the bottom of this part is, which is sitting somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, where is it? Anyway, it's around here somewhere. I'm going to turn that into a little ring box. So uh, very happy with this, and again, using timber burls and a bit of a mixture. And of course, using the new... Uh, using the new silicon mold which we made yesterday, which is very handy. So I'm going to make a couple up to make some pen blanks as well. Anyway, I get on with making out this little ring box. Having a lot of fun. See ya.